What are we, halfway through the week? Jen and Fiona have been doing the show all week. I've, I've noticed that it's like a little cleaner. There's not a bunch of stuff being broken and yeah. flying everywhere. And stuff getting thrown <laughs> in a mixing bowl. Yeah. But here's the thing. I hear it's there's crazy. a famous actor on. Ooh, nobody tells me anything. Oh, oh, yes. You hear? oh yes. You hear that voice? You hear him? You Ladies get? and gentlemen, actor Tony Plata <laughs> is here. And he is in town. And we are going to tell you how you may get a chance to not only meet him, but learn from him, yes. right? Well, hopefully. <laughs> it depends on the students. That's true. Very true. You know, so I don't know. Low expectations. <laughs> We're happy to have you here on set. Thank you. I'm happy to be excuse here. Us, excuse the heat. It's a little toasty in here. Yes. But also, we have Christy Cuthbert here, and you're helping us out with some Easter fun. Yes. Peep. Lots of peeping fun today. We're also giving out this free scavenger hunt for Easter, big hunt, Easter basket hunting. Um, send your kids on a real hunt this year with these clues, and it's all free and on the website today. Perfect, and if you're looking for something to do with the family for Easter, we're taking you to somewhere uh, in Castroville for a perfect brunch. Yes, the Easter Bunny will be there. And, you know, Easter peeps, okay? Do you love them or do you hate them? Tony, do you love them? Hate love them? Well, hate them? What's your vote? Uh, uh, from a distance, I like them. Yeah. <laughs> from I'm a distance. I'm with him. Yes. All right, let us know at SA Live Face Out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see how that shakes down during the show. And we we're may hopping into acting. SA Live yeah. in just a few minutes. We just hit 90 degrees in San Antonio, so dry air is moving in. High fire danger this afternoon will be in the mid 90s for the high temperature. And looking ahead to Easter weekend, isolated showers and storms are possible. Don't cancel your plans. Just keep up to date with the weather. We'll continue to keep you updated. All right, so thank you, Sarah. We also have an update for you from ABC News. They're now reporting that the suspect in that uh, subway car shooting yesterday in Brooklyn is in custody. Yeah, Frank James has been arrested by police there in New York City, according to ABC News, and we will have more on the afternoon on our website as well as on KSA 12 News at 5 and 6. SA Live starts right now. Today on SA Live, it's a historic hotel brought back to life. We show you how it's celebrating everything great about San Antonio. Hey, them. we're having lots of fun with Peeps. We've got games and decorations, too, with Peeps. Hello, I'm Tony Plana, and you're watching SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Hello, and happy Wednesday. You know what time of the year it is when the Peeps start popping out. Good afternoon. I'm Jen Tobias Jusky filling in for Mike this week. Yes, and I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And of course, it is the absolute contentious candy of Easter. Those fluffy little marshmallow bunnies peeps. Yes, they're everywhere. How do you feel about them? <laughs> I am not on the peep island. I'm with I'm you. Not. I'm with I'm you. Sorry yes. for my daughter anybody loves, loves them. them. Yes, my daughter. Like, yeah, I have to have those in my Easter basket. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just this time of the year. But we want to know what you think about them. Love them? Hate them? Mm -hmm. Are you on our island? Mm -hmm. Are you on another I'm island? Let us know at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see how that shakes down and hops out at the end of, you know, towards the end of the show. <laughs> I All see right. what you did there. <laughs> All right, we have a very special guest today. You might recognize him from the big screen, including the hit shows Ugly Betty and Superstore or movies like Three Amigos, one of my favorites, uh, Painting Game, along with just too many to name. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, actor Tony Plana is here to talk about a new program. He's here for what? In Town oh, called yay. Seniors in Play, where you teach acting skills to seniors. Welcome, welcome. So cool. Yes, it's not about softball. <laughs> it's not about chair volleyball. So we're playing, but we're playing at acting. Yes. And so awesome. listen, in this heat, right? get out of your home. If it's hot or whatever, come over to the center where it's cool. Yes, where there's air conditioning. Air conditioning. Unlike our set, because you've never been to a set yeah, this yeah. high. Come and, on. And I'm never coming back. <laughs> Even but if it's we okay. promise air conditioning. Yeah. This will be good. It'll be a good memory. Yes. You know, like my, my son says, it'll be a good story. There you go. It was horrible, but it was a good story. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, seniors in play, uh, we just, we're just bringing it to San Antonio because I, I, I love what I do. I've been doing it for 45 years, mm -hmm. and, and I want to share the fun that I'm having with what I do with others. And I think... You know, this is our second childhood, right? right? So why not play? Why not right. have fun? There's nothing more fun than, in a sense, pretending you're somebody, pretending you're somebody, I'm somebody, and we just pretend together. 
and we tell stories together, you know, as well as they get to come to the center and tell their own stories. Yes. So we, we encourage them to write their own stories mm. in journals and then we help them kind of shape them to be able to perform them. And there's something about sharing your experiences in a way where you get to perform your experience that is very cathartic. Right. And it, it, if it's a, a burdensome story, it relieves you. If it's, you know, something inspirational, you reconnect with it yeah. and it makes you, you know, feel happy to be alive again. So And is that why it's so important, you know, for oh, seniors? This, yeah. at this in this time of our lives, yeah. oh my God. I mean, the I'm, socialization I'm, too. Socialization, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, addressing the issues of isolation, which is a killer, yes. depression, which is a killer, and it's, they're both connected. Um, the whole idea of cognitive concentration, focus, remembering things, paying attention to each other, really mm -hmm. listening, all those, um, you know, all those activities that belong to the acting process, they're very helpful to maintaining your cognitive health. Mm -hmm. Besides, you get to create something together with others, create a family, mm -hmm. and then share what you create with others, right? With, okay. with your family, your friends, the community. And that's something, you know, listen, seniors are oftentimes complain about being invisible. I'm at the supermarket, nobody's, you know, I'm trying to get somebody to help me and, and nobody pays attention, like I'm invisible. Like, but well, here's where you get to basically strut your stuff. Right. You know? You can be the peacock. Exactly, you're the peacock <laughs> and your, your grand, great grandchildren can see you, your children, your grandchildren, you know, your friends, your family, your siblings, whatever, you know, even the dead will come. And, and watch you do it. Uh, they go, wow, he's never done that. She's never done that before. But anyway, I, I think that it's just, this is a perfect time. If you did it in high school, mm -hmm. yeah. did it in tap college. Tap back into it. Yeah. Tap back into, into it. Or if you always had this fantasy, yes. I wonder what Al Pacino feels like. <laughs> you know? For, even really, any kind of those fantasies, you can perform those fantasies in, in Seniors in Play. We call this Seniors in Play because most of all, we want you to have fun. fun. Yes. And we play these wonderful games, which okay. we might want to try yes, yes, okay. a little bit later. Right, wonderful okay. games, you know, where we teach them games to play so they can become better at acting. Okay. More yeah. relaxed. So become better. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's the operative, so that's the operative term right yeah. here. Our bar yes. is, is way <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. somewhere below Can't, the floor. I don't even see it. I, yep, it's, it's below the floor. So yeah. we're going to give it a try. Okay. We have a scene that we want to play, and then we'll try, right? Well, tell them where it's from. Three Amigos. Favorite. I've, I've heard about this movie. Is there a singing bush anywhere? <laughs> we don't have no beer, just tequila. What, what's tequila? Yeah, it's like beer. Is it fattening? Fattening? Too many times. All right. <laughs> yes. That's got to be. At airports. Yes. Hey, yes. Hey. <laughs> hey, let's do that plethora scene. Hey, I'm busy. I'm trying to catch a plane. So he gets that a lot. Yes. Well, yes. It's crazy. Okay, we have our props coming Here, props. in. All right, does our Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And this is beautiful. In acting, you pretend that this is not water. You oh. pretend it's something else. Like you're, it only you're looks here. like okay. water. Okay. Right. There you go. And you're over there. Okay. All right. right. All right. And you're at a bar. Okay. Right? Yep. Okay, well, let's right. try something. Here we go. Let's see what happens. How do you want us to do this? Uh, no, no, no. You, let me They're see normal? what you do okay. with okay. it first. Yeah. Let's, let's do it like if you're in a Western, which is just a Western, right? Okay. I'd like a beer. Beer? We don't have no beer. Just tequila. What's tequila? <laughs> Slide beer. Is it fattening? Fattening? Fancy. Wow. <laughs> hey, that she was agreed. that was exceptional. <laughs> yes. I think you know. I think you can quit your day job. <laughs> I think you can say bye bye. Give your notice. Listen, it that was, was excellent. Prop. And, and what was great is this. This is an example of one of the games we play with the seniors. It's called genre. And so we're going to do the same scene okay. in okay. a different genre. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, you, my friend, okay. are in a horror movie, oh. and you are Dracula, <laughs> and you are a damsel in distress, and you've been pursued by this vampire. Oh my goodness! And um, you're trying, you know, to get away from yeah. okay. her as quickly as possible. Okay. Action. Would you like a beer? <laughs> we, we, we don't have no no beer, just tequila. Tequila. <laughs> It, it's like beer. It's like beer. 
Can I sink my teeth into it? <laughs> sure, sure, here, take it. Ah, you know, this isn't fattening. Fattening? <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Like, this, this is, you are fattening. You are fattening. Yeah, listen, listen. That was great. That was great. We did okay. She's so we did okay. We did yes. She is yes. very good. Yes. Yeah, a little scary. <laughs> You know, yeah. Well, obviously this, this program is very important to okay, you. Okay, one yes. more, one oh, more. Oh, so oh, I'll oh, give you okay. one more genre. Right. Okay. Is that cool? Okay, so this next genre is you're going to, this is opera. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I'd like a beer. <laughs> we don't have no beer. Just tequila. Awesome. You, you should not sing very often. No, I don't. I don't and ever I don't sing. know, but I mean, maybe TV and opera for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think you should we be her manager. Is what you think. You were on training wheels. Yeah. We couldn't have done it. Oh, that was amazing. That was fun. All right. And of course, you have um, projects coming up, right? Yes. Yeah, so, um, on on like online now because we there's no such thing as tv <laughs> anymore yeah online right now so there's a, a show on hbo called david makes man by the people who wrote moonlight the oscar-winning movie oh, awesome. uh, second season i'm all over that and then i'm also doing um i start up on netflix yes. which was like one of the top shows rated on netflix wonderful show and uh and then recently i've been working a lot on uh the good fight on Paramount Plus with Christine Baranski, wow. Otter McDonald, and I just finished like working for six months on a show called The, the White House Plumbers, which is about the Watergate scandal. Oh, and that's what they used to call themselves because they were trying to plug all the leaks coming out of the White House. And as you know what happened, yeah. the whole house flooded, flooded. and yeah. flooded the yeah. president out of the right White House. So it's a satirical, satirical version of Watergate. Uh, created and directed and produced by the people who do Veep mm -hmm. and Curb Your Enthusiasm, starring oh, Woody nice. Harrelson nice. and Justin Theroux. It's no, coming out no. in June, which so is the things. 50th anniversary of Watergate. There we go. Cool. So many things. I can't wait for yes, that. Please keep yes. up with Tony. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have fun. You're I'll stick to my day job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Awesome. Thank you. All right. For more information on the Gonzaga Foundation, of course, for a healthier community senior in play program featuring actor Tony Plana. Just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the yes, see you on SA Live, like a tab, or just snap that QR code that you see on your screen. We are out of time and moving on. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Time is up. <laughs> All that right. Was, was Peeps, love them really or good. hate them. Sure, we good. are having fun today with them. Author Christy Cuthbert is with us today, and we are going to have some fun, maybe play some games, maybe make a recipe or two. Welcome. Thank yes, you. Thanks are. for having me. Hot off our hot <laughs> set. <laughs> Okay. Right. It's cooler out here. Yes. 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 About a fraction of a percent. Yeah. We'll take yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So what are we doing? Okay. We're having fun with peeps because Easter is very much a very little kid holiday and this brings the fun to kids of all ages and every family member. So we're going to start with a really fun game. It's only messy if you want it to be messy, okay. but you guys are going right. to put on your shower okay. caps. Oh, I got to tell you, even my 12 year old <laughs> was how like they are. howling laughing okay. with this one. So okay. we are going to shaving cream the tops of your head, right? <laughs> with kind of spread it out, get as much on there as we can. I realize how ridiculous it sounds when I read Recap my day. <laughs> How was your day, right? Oh, oh, wonderful. Well, it was great. Covered in shaving cream. <laughs> okay, so we're shaving creaming your shower caps. Yes, yes, then okay. you're going to get your color of peeps that go with your shower cap, <laughs> and y'all are going to try to get them Choose stuck to each your other's heads. Weapons! Okay. okay. So just throw them, right? Oh, <laughs> oh I got to get it to. Oh. <laughs> All trying right. to help you here. All right. Yeah, you have a nice soft little toss. Oh, almost. Oh my goodness, we're not. Oh, sorry, Jen. Sorry, sorry Jen. <laughs> it's okay. We may need to get a little. There yes. you go. Oh, I got one. Oh my goodness. Oh, we might yes. need a little thicker oh, cream. Yeah, there you go. It took us just a second. It's all in the wrist for this. Hot oh. oh, 
Okay. There we go. There you go. Okay. Like okay. so much fun, right? A lot of you get peeps at Easter, but not everybody loves to eat them. Right. So these are kind of fun go. things to do yes. with them. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Should we leave these on? Go. Yes. Right. No, we'll I'm gonna leave mine on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll move on to the next. One. All right. So now that they're on our heads, let's launch them as well. Let's create okay. peep launchers. Okay. So we have. Uh, basically oversized popsicle sticks. You can get them in any craft department at any store. You take 10 and rubber band them together. Then you take two, rubber band one end of it and kind of slide the bigger stack of them through. Take any kind of snack cup or bottle cap and hot glue it on the end and you okay. have yourself a little catapult. Okay. So you just throw your little peep in there and give it a little launch. Here we go. You can get creative and <laughs> put rhinestones, they can paint them, they can put their names on them. It's kind of just a fun activity and teaches them a little bit of science at the same oh, time. Oh, oh, oh. It's so hot, the hot glue is taking longer to, to adhere. Okay. All, All right. right, we'll move on to the next one. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So now it's time to eat our peeps. Yes. We're going to make them peep yes. nests. So this is a combination of one cup of butterscotch chips, okay. a half cup of chocolate chips, and about a oh, fourth of a cup of peanut butter. Okay. You're going to put those together. You're going to stick them in the microwave for about a minute at a time, minute and a half. Check on it. The last thing you want is for it to burn. We have one here that's voila, already microwaved and melted down for yes. you. And then what you do is you mix in about two and a half to three cups of chow mein noodles. Okay. This is what's going to give it the appearance of a nest. Like a nest. Yes. Yeah. Aww. And then you're going to take so uh, a cupcake tin, spray it lightly with cooking spray so the chocolate doesn't stick. And you'll scoop your mixture once it's fully mixed into the cupcake tin. Kind of push down in the middle to kind of give it that nest look where the bird can sit. Yes. Now you can so use cute. those little mini chocolate Cadbury, you know the candy coated chocolate yes. Cadbury eggs, you can use those. You can also use Reese's, they have new eggs out, Robin's yes. eggs, anything that looks like a little mini bird egg. And then that's what you get right here. Yeah, you put oh, them right in the top, cute. they dry, and then your little peep sits right on top of its nest. Awesome. Woo Love it. All right. Yeah. And last but not least, last but not least a fun way to display it. You know, Christmas has elf on a shelf. How about peeps in a heap? Like oh, just it. do some fun stuff. I am a boy mom, so obviously the peeps are slaying this T-Rex <laughs> with torches and swords. But if you have little girls, you can build a castle. I mean you can do any kind of scene you want. It's just another fun way to use up all the sugary bunnies you're gonna get this week. All right, and real quickly tell folks about the Mischief Makers Book Club. Yes, Where can they find info? Mischiefmakerbooks.com. It's free, you can sign up, you can get ideas like this sent to you every month along with pranks and other fun. All, All right, to sign up for Mischief Makers Book Club, go to our website, salive.com, click the essay on SA Live tab, or scan the QR code right there on your screen. Christy, thank you so much. Thanks for having me, guys. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Still ahead on SA Live, looking for a new place for your date night? This cute boutique hotel has something even locals can enjoy and truly celebrate San Antonio. But first, this place wants to help make it the easiest and most fun Easter ever, where you can enjoy an egg hunt, meet the Easter Bunny, and have an all-you-can-eat brunch buffet. We're getting a taste on SA Live. What's on the menu for your Easter brunch? Why not take a drive to Hillside Boutique Hotel in Castroville where they can take care of the cooking and they also have some fun activities planned for the entire family. Joining me today, Chef Stefan Mahan to give us a taste of the brunch menu. Welcome. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. I'm excited because you guys are taking care of all the hard work um, and that includes an omelet station, right? Uh, yes, yes it does. And uh, I just brought a couple items in that we will do today. All right. Um, if you want to, we get started. Yes, I'm All excited. All right, so we'll just give you a little bit of this oil right here. Now, um, what is the secret to a great a omelet? A secret to the great omelet is the person making the omelet. Because <laughs> there's so many different ways and so many different opinions on how to make a good omelet. But the secret to an omelet is an egg is delicate, so when you're cooking, you have to use a little finesse and be delicate with it. Okay. Okay, so we'll get you started you here. You can't just walk away either. Right? No, no. <laughs> Gotta and watch it. Okay, yeah, I'll so. hold it. Uh -huh. All right, I got you. All right. Now, what else will be on the menu? Okay, we're, uh, we'll be having uh, a pepper encrusted smoked tenderloin for a carving station. Obviously, the omelet station. Um, lots and lots of desserts. I'll mention those ahead of time. And um, we've got stuffed pork tenderloin, uh, stuff for the kitties. You're fine. Okay, so what do you want to do now? Is you just want to move your egg around from the edge and just push it towards you like this. Hold your pan up, push the egg towards you, okay. and just kind of push. Oh, that way. So you're getting oh. all the egg to cook. 
That's the secret. Sometimes I feel like I put too much egg in my pan when I'm making an omelet. And just tilt your pan. I'm so glad you're here to help. Like this. <laughs> like this. And I tried doing like six of these at one time. <laughs> so there you go. I'm gonna cook a little bit. Okay. So mine's rolling away here. And uh it's so quick too. Yeah. Yeah. And Hillside Boutique Hotel, it's such a beautiful setting. For those who have never been, how would you describe? Um, I, I love it. Um, I've been coming to San Antonio since I was two years old. I've always ended up here for some reason, and finally I decided, okay, you know what, let's just make it permanent. So uh, going out there, it's beautiful. So you get some of that, uh, the, the oak trees and everything, just very relaxing. Mm. Okay. And last year, did y'all get to do an Easter brunch? Um, I know I'm, things have been tricky, right? Yeah, there was an Easter brunch last year. Okay. Um, they, I believe they kept going. Okay, so here's the good part. Okay. This is when you're not ready. Okay, yet. I'm not Mine's ready. <laughs> ready, so we're gonna go ahead and just flip it. Oh, I can't. And then do we that. turn we turn the heat off. It'll finish the side, and then we'll get you going here, okay. so you don't feel left out. I'm gonna step aside. <laughs> so All right. So just get this one going. Okay. That's Look it. how good you are at that. It. Okay, so now we're gonna fill it up. So this right here, <laughs> we smoke our own brisket. We do just about 80% of all the food we do there is from scratch. Mm. Um, we put a little, so this is, we did, as a matter of fact, these came off yesterday. That's and so uh, we put a little smoked brisket, and that will be on the Easter brunch. You put some jack cheese in there. Lots of cheese. Yes, lots of cheese, lots cheese. of cheese. Okay. Is it okay if I put a lot of cheese? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's, it's it you. It's you. I mean, it's mine. It's all you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then uh, we'll do some more and that. And that's roasted poblano peppers. Mmm, smells so good. And then. And you also have uh, music, right? That will be there? Yes, there'll be a, a lady playing a harp. Beautiful. And um, I hear that she's really good. And we're also gonna have an Easter egg hunt. Mm -hmm. And the Easter Bunny will be making an appearance. He's uh, gonna make just a, took out of his time just to come see yeah. us. Okay, so here's the trick. Okay. If you wanna know what the trick is, you gotta get it on the plate now. Okay, okay. so. Put your I'm pan close you. to your plate. Okay. Okay, you're that way. You want to put the spatula underneath it here. Oh, I see. So okay. you want to go that way. Yeah, now touch your, okay. like this. And as soon as the omelet hits the plate, just use the pan to fold it over. <laughs> Too late, sorry. <laughs> you're good, because it's always sal Look, salvageable. it's an open omelet. There it's, we go. It's a frittata. Again, people can get their reservation. They Oops. can make their reservations now. The sooner, the better. Hillside Boutique Hotel located in Castroville. You can head over to salive.com and click the As Seen on SA Live tab where we have all the information. I will not be there making omelets. <laughs> we will be doing that, so don't worry, everybody. Uh, but again, the Easter Bunny will be there too, so lots of great photo opportunities. Chef, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, and thank you for having me. It's been great. And we're topping it off with yes, some, some pico. pico and oh, some cheese. Yum, yum, yum. All right. All right, some cojita, and then Eric, enjoy. You can also scan the QR code on your screen for more information. Now, I'm going to taste this omelet. Thank care, you, It's hot. You're welcome. Still ahead on SA Live, it's a celebration of snakes and all things reptile. We'll give you a sneak peek of the one-of-a-kind event happening this weekend. And next, enjoy your upcoming summer free from the hassle of glasses. How you can finally live with perfect vision in just minutes. The deal you can get today is straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, the weather is heating up and we'll soon be jumping into the pool to keep cool. That's why right now is one of the best times to get rid of your glasses and contacts for good. Dr. Carlos Manrique has more than 20 years of experience and has performed more than 60,000 laser vision correction procedures and he has big savings for you today. And here to tell us more is Richard Doinoff, Director of Operations with Manrique Custom Vision. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Fiona. All right, so tell us about Z-LASIK and why it's painless. Uh, Z -Lake is, the Z LASIK is totally pain and pain, blade and pain free, like I always talk about. Uh, Dr. Manrique is the only trainer in the area for it, and it just takes a few seconds per eye. The coolest thing about it is it's custom for each eye, which means that the laser actually won't turn on unless it's that specific eye underneath of it. So only a few seconds each uh, eye, and the recovery afterwards? I just tell people to go home and sleep for a few hours, and usually you wake up and I, you're seeing good, but I tell you, after a couple days, I, I mean, I know it, you just see 
like day and night. It's like regular TV to HD TV that quick. Because you've done this, right? I did it with the uh, blade cut, you know, over, yeah, 20 some years ago with Doc. And, you know, that's why I'm a walking billboard for the guy regardless. You know, he's done my whole family, myself, his family. But it, it, it works. I mean, it's, it's amazing right after you get up off the laser and you can look across the room and see everything. It's really weird. All right. So the safety steps, of course, that you take for each and every patient. Oh, absolutely. But you come in, you do a complimentary screening. Uh, we check, check the surface of the eyes, make sure it looks safe. Um, if the patient looks good and they want to proceed, they can do the medical eye exam. It gets checked by two doctors, and then it actually goes to Dr. Manrique, who, who approves it, of course, but more importantly, he does all the procedures, too. All right, and financing. Folks are probably wondering about that. Uh, flexible spending accounts, medical spending accounts for all the teachers getting ready to go on vacation soon. Um, we offer uh, financing up to 36 months interest-free. And you always have big savings for our viewers. You can see it on the screen there right now. Fill them in. Um, up to $1,200 off your Z-LASIK procedure. Um, you can text us to 45384. Just give us a call and we'll walk you through the steps to come in. Because this is absolutely life-changing. I, I have to tell you, in my opinion, it's the best thing you can ever do because you got those contacts on your eyes. You know, they're digging in or the glasses and everything fogging up cold, hot, well, hot, here hot, of course. but. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you get you can get rid of them, and you don't have to do the ex eye exams or anything anymore. Love it, and so much easier when you're out and about on vacation and everything. All right, well, call or text today and save up to $1,200 on your Z-LASIK procedure for qualified eyes at Manrique Custom Vision. Just call 210-354-2020 or text LASIK to 45384 for an instant discount. For more information on Manrique Custom Vision, visit the website sa.manriqueeye.com. Richard? Thank you so much. Great seeing you, Fiona. Coming up on SA Live, it celebrates everything great about San Antonio. We take you to this hidden gem in the heart of our city. And it's Spurs game day. It is win or go home, the official watch party tonight at Chicken and Pickle. The party starts at 8, game time 8.30. There will be a plethora of entertainment. See what we did there? So go support your Spurs. And as always, go Spurs go. Well, it's a hotel with a rich history in Mexican culture, Spanish style, and Texas charm. We are here in the heart of the city at the Estancia del Norte by Hilton. And joining me right now is director of outlets, Sammy Norris, to tell you all about it. Hello, hello, thanks for having us here. <laughs> yes, ma'am, thank y'all for coming. Uh, we are a wonderful kind of hotel. We are Estancia del Norte, where San Antonio does celebrate. Um, we are reaching our one year anniversary. April 21st is our one year anniversary, but this building has been here for over 40 years. We just went through a major renovation to bring more life and breathe life back into San Antonio. All right, so this historic hotel living again, of course, and you've got a bar here, you've got a restaurant here too, right? Yes, ma'am, at Paseo Bar, we have our Texas Craft Cocktails as well as Texas Craft Beers as well. Okay, and we are going to be showing off a few of the signature yes, cocktails, and which one are we going to make? We're gonna make our classic margarita today. So right here, we have our fresh squeezed lime juice. We're gonna pour that on in there. Okay. All right, we're gonna grab our agave. We're gonna put that measurement right in there. Okay. Let's pour that in there. I'm gonna flip it over one more time and add our Grand Marier. All right. And fill this. Yes, right. ma'am. And pour that on in there. Okay. Then we're gonna grab our good old tequila, Lalo. Fill that bad boy right you on up. You don't have to tell me. I got <laughs> it. It may have been a little over. That's all right. A little bit of love. A little bit of love. <laughs> Look at that. That looks incredibly refreshing. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> all right. That's the margarita. All right, so fiesta may be over, but you guys are still celebrating and folks can join in too, right? That is correct. Yes, ma'am. So right here, what you have is our 1891 cocktail and it's supporting our Battle of the Flowers Association. So you can come get that drink for $12. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, just like San Antonio. The drink that we have right next to it is our Flambeau Meat Cocktail. It comes with our award-winning medal and it's a, your choice of any kind of drink that you want. We put our illuminated ice cubes in there and then you get one of our medals with it. So besides the fabulous drinks here, it is the fabulous food. And Sammy, I had no idea you were treating me to lunch. This <laughs> yes, looks amazing. I know how to take care of my guests. <laughs> All right. So what we have here right now is our black snapper, which is, comes with a corn mashu. This is one of our Chef Sarah's favorite dishes. She used to make this corn mashu with her dad. Is that popcorn? 
That is popcorn with it. Yes, ma'am, it is. We do put popcorn on dish just to give it a little bit of extra color and flair to it. Now, both these dishes are some of the crowd favorites, right? And this is a behemoth. That right there <laughs> is our apple sage pork chop. That is delicious. Bone-in pork chop, comes with apple sage. Now, Chef Sarah, when she was a little girl, she used to pick Washington apples with her mother in Seattle. So this is why she chose to do this dish. It is a delicious dish. Yeah, I, I know you're ready to eat, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the Estancia del Norte Hotel by Hilton really celebrates the community, right? Yes, ma'am. We have Regalo Boutique Shop, which supports the local craftsmen and local artisans. You can so, find some really unique gifts. Yes, ma'am. You definitely can. And um, the Estancia Cares Program. Now, that is one of my favorite things. So what we do is support 12 nonprofit organizations throughout the year where they come, they select one of our cocktails, and we give them give back 50% right back to that organization. So if folks want to stay, they want to play, they want to drink, they want to eat, tell them where you're located. Yes, ma'am. We're right here on the corner right next to North Star Mall. For more information on the Estancia del Norte Hotel by Hilton, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. And again, I mean, so one pretty. year later, it's been completely renovated. It truly does celebrate San Antonio and all things that. great about it. That boutique in there, you know, their little, their little mm -hmm. shop, I'd say 90% of the stuff in there, we were guests on our show. Oh. So they support local Love and that. beautiful backdrop for photos. Yes, so pretty. Mm -hmm. I have never been there. So now it's on my list. And thanks, Fiona. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, still ahead on the show. You can learn about reptiles and even get your hands on some of them. What you need to know about this weekend event and we're helping to ease some of those snake fears. Keep it here. There's nothing I didn't like about everything you just said. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. <laughs>
they come from high altitudes, they do well at room temperature, they don't need heat like you know, the chameleons out of Africa and Madagascar. Those are tropical. These, they do well in cool temperatures. They're popular as pets. This is a male. And this is just a small example of what folks can find this weekend, right, at, at the reptile expo. You'll find different chameleons at the show. You'll find corn snakes, ball pythons. You'll find king snakes. You'll find a variety of frogs and other amphibians. Nice. Um, and it's happening, And other course. lizards. This Saturday and Sunday, right, 10 a.m., right there at the Lions Club in McQueenie. For more information, all they got to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Curtis, Blaine, thank you so much. Next on SA Live, still having trouble sleeping after the time change? It might be something else. How you can get help getting a good night's rest. You don't want to miss this. Welcome back to SA Live. We're about to spring forward this weekend, and that means we're all going to lose an hour of sleep. But if you're losing sleep already, maybe because of snoring, or if you're just tired all the time and you don't know why, you may have a problem with sleep apnea. And joining us to tell us more about the condition is sleep technician Veronica Morillos with the Center for Sleep Apnea and Snoring. Welcome. Thank you for having me. And so for those who don't know what sleep apnea is, please let us know, what is that? Yes, so sleep apnea, it happens to more people than you think. It's when you have pauses in breathing while you're sleeping and this could happen hundreds of times during the night. What happens is you know you have your airway all of a sudden you're you know breathing normally your airway collapses and this happens over and over and over and it could be very dangerous. Yeah because it's happening in your sleep right? Exactly. And so we need to look out for the symptoms. Snoring is one. What are some snoring other symptoms? Snoring is one of the major symptoms right? A lot of people not only does the snoring bother your partner you know know just like you're watching they get so frustrated <laughs> they cannot sleep but another one is after you slept around eight hours you're still feeling exhausted you know you have headaches during the day mm -hmm. you're fatigued you know you're falling asleep while you're working while you're driving again very dangerous yes it can affect you all throughout the day okay so yes. you've probably seen that big CPAP machine it's used to treat sleep apnea it's bulky it needs to be plugged in for it to work but do you have something portable and small that can actually help with sleep apnea as well. So tell us about the oral appliance. We do. So we have an oral appliance. It's called a MAD, a mandibular advancement device. What it does is it brings that lower jaw forward and it opens that airway naturally. The CPAP works by forcing air down your nose and down your throat to keep that airway open. But a lot of people feel like they're drowning and they just feel like, oh my gosh, it's just way too much air. Now, if you're using the CPAP and it's working for you, great. Mm -hmm. But most mm -hmm. of the people that are getting a CPAP, they're bringing it home, they put it under the bed, it collects dust. So we provide the appliance to help you because something, it's better than nothing. Yes, and it's also convenient, would you say, or if the power goes out, you, you don't have to plug exactly, it in. Exactly, so. yeah, the power goes off, you don't have to, it's easy to travel with, you know, because mm -hmm. you just put it in your little case, you travel with it, and believe me, you wanna travel with that because <laughs> if you go out of town with your husband or your wife and they're snoring, you're not gonna have a good spring break coming up. <laughs> <laughs> right, you wanna enjoy your trip, get a good night's sleep. Yeah. And now, is this covered by insurance? Yes, most major insurances do cover the appliance. Okay, good to know. And you have a special deal for our SA Live viewers? We do. The first 25 callers get a free consultation. You call our office, you schedule an appointment. We should be giving you a call back later on today or tomorrow. And then um, you come in and visit us and we go from there, set you on the right path. Got it. All right. So if you have any of those symptoms, you feel like you may have this, just go give them a visit and they can help you to figure it all out. Again, the first 25 people to call will get a free consultation that's two hundred dollars in savings just call 210-598-8200 and for more information you can visit the website stopsnoringtx.com veronica thank you so much thank you tomorrow on sa live spring weather is here and that means it's time to start planting we have local experts showing us how to care for citrus trees Plus, where you can get your last minute Easter sweets before this Sunday, this bakery can do over the top creations for you. That's all tomorrow, one o'clock on SA Live. Peeps, yay or nay, love them or hate them. <laughs> okay, Linda says, hate them, too sweet. Too sweet, yeah, I agree. Adam says, not <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let me ask my peeps. 
good one. one, Adam. Maggie says, love them. They're cute, only 28 calories and zero fat, but respect that they aren't for everyone. Oh, I love that well you gave said, us the Maggie. facts. <laughs> yes, tune in tomorrow. We have more SA Live.